Hi everybody, Gerdy van Woerd here, their Great League Guide and Coach. And today is episode 8 of the series How to Hike the Mountains Safely by Yourself. Or any other part of nature for that matter. But as I've told you before, I'm all about mountain hiking. Episode 8, and therefore tip 8 on hiking safely. And tip 8 is check your gear before you set out. I know this is an obvious one, uh, but somehow, I don't know, people don't always do the obvious thing. And I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, I was as all set to guide a hike with about 10 people. And um, what I always do, and did back then as well, is make sure people have certain gear with them. I don't go for a day hike, I'm not necessarily checking every bit of gear that they have with them, but they need to have a couple of basics. And um, let me see, there we go. Just adjust the camera angle a little bit. So basics are at least something to eat, something to drink, rain gear. And of course, a decent pair of hiking shoes or boots. Now the lady, there was a lady in this group who had what turned out to be uh, boots that may have looked perfectly fine, but weren't. So we went in on this hike, everything was fine, and about 90 minutes in, behind me I hear, Ooh, Gerdy, something wrong with my boots. So I sit her down, take a look at her boots, one of her boots, and it turns out that um, On one of her boots, the sole of her shoe is coming off. Now we were about 90 minutes into this hike, which, uh, you know, it's not like we were somewhere where I could call a cab and say, please come and get this lady. We had to hike back for at least 90 minutes. So luckily I had brought a couple of uh, spare shoelaces because experience had taught me that having those along is also a very good idea as a guide. So, and um, I somehow, tied these soles to the rest of her boots so that we at least could get to where um, we needed to go when we or back to the parking area not 10 minutes after we continued on this hike or you know uh, continued our way i hear behind me oh something seems to be wrong with my other boot as well now i had brought extra shoelaces but not that many so this was potentially, well, let us just be honest, this was a problem. S we were on our way back already and we, uh, and I just sort of hoped, everybody hoped that um, these shoes would stay somewhat intact long enough for us to reach the, um, the parking area. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. She, um, another 15 minutes and the soles had completely come off both of her boots. So she, it, uh, I have many things in my backpack, usually much more than the people I hike with when I'm guiding, but I didn't bring an extra pair of shoes. So this lady had to walk the last 30, 45 minutes in her socks down the mountain, which is not something that is necessarily a, um, comfortable thing to do now this could have been prevented had she properly checked her shoes because when I asked her she said well I haven't used them for at least five years and when you don't use your boots you don't really see what's happening to them you don't really take care of them they stand somewhere in the closet slowly drying out and that's exactly what happened they dried out the stitching gave way the um, the glue I don't know what happened to the glue, but it wasn't gluing anymore and um, her shoes were goners. So what you do before you set out is you look at your packing list, you look at the gear in your pack and, and your pack and you check every bit of it. Is your rain gear still waterproof? Are the clasps and the straps on your backpack still working properly? Um, are your shoes, obviously? still in good order and if the if anything is not replace it 
you know, make sure that before you go into the mountains, all your gear is working properly. So that's tip eight in episode eight. Always check your gear before you set out. All right, as always, go there greatly. Bye bye.